Emily knows best. The island of Sodor has many beautiful sights. There are green fields and hills, and many beautiful castles. The engines of Sodor love to visit them all. One day, Emily was dropping visitors at the ruined castle. Once upon a time, a queen had lived there. Queens are in charge and tell everybody what to do. I'd like to be a queen, thought Emily. Down the hill from the castle, Toby and Percy arrived. They were to shunt trucks. Percy had never worked there before. Look at the castle, peeped Percy excitedly. I wonder who lived there. A king and a queen, said Toby. They ruled the island and told everyone what to do. Percy stared at the castle. He was dreaming of kings and queens. Percy, called Toby, come along. We've got a lot to do today. Waiting for passengers is boring, huffed Emily. Then she remembered that Toby and Percy were working near the castle. It would be much more fun to visit them, she said. Toby and Percy were waiting to be coupled up when Emily chuffed in. She was very excited about the castle. Percy, she whistled. I've had an idea. Let's play a game. Percy, look, please. I'll be the queen, and I'll tell you what to do today. She said, "It'll be fun." Percy liked the idea of having fun, but Toby thought Emily's idea was silly. You have to be clever to be a queen, he said wisely, and know the right thing to do. I always know what to do," huffed Emily. Toby laughed. That made Emily cross. I'll show Toby that Queen Emily knows best. She wished. Toby was now coupled up to his trucks. Percy thought his trucks looked troublesome. Don't worry, said Toby. I'll be back soon. If you can't manage the trucks, wait for me, and I'll tell you what to do. And Toby steamed slowly away. The troublesome trucks started to moan and groan. They clattered and chattered. Percy knew they were going to be trouble. Emily had been watching Percy. If I want to be a queen, I must tell Percy what to do. She thought, because I know best. Percy was shunting his trucks as hard as he could. But they wouldn't move. They were being very difficult. Emily chuffed to a halt. <whistles> Percy, she whistled loudly. I am queen today. I will tell you what to do. Percy was worried. Toby usually knew best. Take these trucks along my track, said Emily. It's faster, and the trucks won't complain. Toby will be pleased when he sees how quick you are. Percy wanted Toby to be pleased. I'll do as you say, Queen Emily. He tooted. Emily was pleased with herself. She watched as Percy blew a big wish of steam. Percy puffed and he chuffed, and the troublesome trucks sped off. Emily let out a wish of steam. She did know best. But suddenly there was a terrible noise. As the dust cleared, Emily saw what had happened. The trucks had run into Mavis, who was waiting on the track. Luckily, no one was hurt. But her load of stone had spilled all over the lines, and one of the trucks had come off the rails, knocking over a telephone pole. Percy 
cried Mavis. You're not supposed to be on this track. Emily was shocked. Then there was another loud crash. It was Toby. His wheels had struck the telephone pole and he was derailed. Emily knew this was all her fault, but she didn't know what to do. The telephone line was down so no one could call for help. Mavis couldn't move. She was stuck amongst the trucks. And Percy couldn't move either. I'm sorry, Toby, cried Emily. I can't be a queen. I don't know what to do. I don't know best. Toby wished out a great cloud of steam. I know what to do, he cried. Emily, you must go and get help. Emily knew Toby was right. She steamed off as fast as she could. Emily whooshed to a halt at Maithwaite Station. She told the station manager what had happened. Quickly, he phoned for help. Soon Toby had been lifted back up onto the rails. He wasn't hurt, but his cow catchers would need to be repaired. Emily chuffed into the shunting yards. The fat controller was very cross. Emily, he boomed, you have caused confusion and delay. Luckily, Toby knew what to do, he added sternly. I'm sorry, Emily said. Knowing the right thing to do isn't as easy as I thought, she chuffed. In future, I'll leave that job to a king or a queen or to Toby.